Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears. We're on like part six. No, I just uploaded part five today, so this is probably like part nine. Either way, let's head out. I think we're all ready to head out, right? Yeah, we're good to go. Make sure, well, let's make sure we got some aqua salt assets because I don't think we bought any of those. Oh yeah, Mason's all good. Think of it, this is the second time we've had to flee from the royal capital. It seems an awful long time ago, that night that I took them with me to escape. Look, I just want to buy some items. I mean, I'm all about this, but I I kind of just want to buy some items. Yeah, and on top of that, he was bold enough to steal this ship along the way. And you know this used to be the kingdom's flagship? I could guess that, yeah. Yes, it was all Sigurd's doing. So courageous of him, even at such a young age. Anyway, this Yggdrasil... I'm just making sure if I'm saying that right. I think it is Yggdrasil. I think that's how you'd say it. I keep saying it Yggdrasil, but I'm skipping the D. I think it's Yggdrasil. Can be considered as a keepsake of the late king for the young master. It kind of feels like you're stuck to me for life. Even though you used to be my personal knight, right? Now I'm just a kid pirate. But eventually you will become a proud lord. I gotta hurry up and grow up or I'll never be proud of myself. And I won't be able to win against him. Yeah, well, I'm looking for items, so let's do that. I want the... yeah, they're a hundred apiece, but you know what? We're, they were invaluable, so let's get like six of them. Actually, I didn't check if I need anything else. Some red stars, brown star... I think we're probably okay. Hard star... yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey! Let's go back. Wait, 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 now come back. Urgh. I want to make your day, because yes, you can. You can be of service. It's going to be great when I sell you my gold nugget, pal. Where... Oh, I got this toy gun. Like that. Look at 2,000. Yes. There we go. I just paid for all of our stuff. The radish I'm going to probably keep. Is that how much it... Yeah, that's how many we have down below. and That's how much it's worth on the top right. Or the top. So, good. Are there any more... Whoa. Wait, we can sell the old stuff too. Yeah. We can get rid of this, we can get rid of the Cobra Cracker and the Mother Whip, right? Because he has the Whip, whip Master or whatever. I think. I don't think you can sell stuff that's equipped, that'd be ridiculous. There's probably stuff I can sell there, but let's just make sure. Yeah. Let's make sure, otherwise this is going to suck. So Cobra Cracker was the one that we found in the castle. Oh, okay. Whip it snappy. Yeah, like, oh my gosh. I was just thinking I blew it there, but I didn't. So let's head over to... Let's go bring Margie home. Let's bring her back to Nissan. Well, actually, first we have to go and talk to, to Margie, right? Which is going to be down below. I think. Or no, she was back upstairs, right? Because this is, this is our room, I think. This is Faye's room, probably. Faye and Saiten, who knows. Well, whoever the quartermaster is, or whatever, probably knows. I don't... Eh, maybe. Yeah, how's everybody doing today? Today, it's the day after Father's Day. It's Monday. I've been packing all, all day. Well, not all day yesterday, but I did some packing yesterday. Got some boxes filled up. I'm gonna be moving in two weeks, which I'm really, really, really excited about. Because I haven't lived in a house since I moved out right after high school. And I'm really excited to go back to a house and live in there and be loud and be able to do a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, hey, it's the infirmary. I hear you won at the martial arts tournament. That's great. By the way, did you get hurt? Did, did you? Did, did you break something? I, oh, that's too bad. I mean, that's good. It's way fee. Perfect weight. We were even chugging those beers, too. I really don't know what happens if you don't... I gotta look that up. Well done. If I didn't have this wound... If you didn't have this wound, what? You play some Game Boy? You'd go fight? What are you... What are you trying to tell me? That's right, we can't go anywhere because Margie has to go and move her stuffed toy, which squeaks or whatever the deal is going on. There. So Margie, what's, the, what's going on? What's the haps? Hey, Margie. Get rid of that strange stuffed animal sitting in front of the bridge. It's in our way. We don't know how to lift small things. 
It's not a strange stuffed animal. It has a name. Its name is... I'm gonna name it. Yeah, let's name it Choo Choo. Choo Choo! I hear a train coming! <laughs> Her name is Choo Choo. I didn't realize Choo Choo was a girl until she just said it right now, I guess, but yeah. But that's weird. It was just here where I put it a moment ago. What the heck? Crap, somebody grabbed the fly swatter. Nice to meet you. I'm Choo Choo. I fell in love with you when I first saw you in Bloodovic. Wherever you go, I shall go to you. Oh my, I just declared my love. What we thought was just a stuffed toy is actually a living animal. Oh, <laughs> weird! <laughs> I don't know if that's the reaction I would have, but... No wonder it felt strangely lukewarm. <laughs> Again, maybe not my first impression or response. Looking good, Faye. Shut up. It's all right. I, as the captain, give you my permission to do what? What the hell is going on? Yeah, yeah. Suit yourself. <laughs> well, I don't want to interrupt you two, so I'll wait outside. Oh. Wait, is Choo Choo in love with Faye? Maybe that's what was going on. I was thinking she was saying it to Margie. I have no idea. I love this music, though. This music's good. Thank you for your help at the castle. I heard you really riled it up at the tournament. Choo choo, get, what are you doing? Yeah, go over there. Bart was bragging how you're both buddies and all. Really? He said that? Do you know where his locker is? I want to put a note in his locker. I'm so ashamed. I want to be of help to Bart, but I ended up owing him again. Faye, have you seen Bart's back? He's got scars all over his back and it looks so painful. Long ago, when the two of us got caught by Shikan, Bart protected me from getting beaten. At that time, I decided to be his follower, to serve and protect him. But he is the one who's always protecting me. Oh, uh, so sorry. Anyway, thanks a lot for saving me. Yeah, no problem. You got it. My eyes dry, what? My eyes dry out when pretending to be a stuffed animal. I guess staring off into oblivion for a while will do that. Cats can do it, but they still blink once in a while. Well, let's rock and roll. Where's... That's the elevator. So yeah, the bridge is back over this way. We've got our items. I think we're looking okay there. I really don't think we're going to have any new gear parts, but as long as we're here, why not take a look? I mean, you want to always do this, because like I said, you can't really level up your gear out in the field or anything. You pretty much have to be doing it with equipment only, and that's about it. Yeah, I like to pawn it. Um, a blue book value on Welltall says that it's worth about five bajillion dollars. What do you give me for it? Like, I can do ten dollars and half the Snickers I got. Like, you know. Great. Oh, hey, look at this. Yeah, okay, so we've got... Definitely some upgrades, however... Oh, we can afford that. I keep forgetting that they add on what it's... Like, what you can get for your old one, so... Uh, yeah. I do want that. We definitely have some options we can we can work with here. I think... Yeah, Heimdall, I think, is probably okay. Yeah, he's okay. So let's go and upgrade... No, come back. <sighs> Brigandier. We're gonna be a little bit less now. I don't think we're gonna. Be, I think we're gonna be a little bit short. We can get this. Three thousand HP. Yeah. And we can get the MS nine. Do we have enough to get the other one? No. Can we sell some stuff? Not. Well, we can sell these, but there's not a whole lot going on with it. I don't really want to sell my AC. What does this even do? I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... I might grind a little bit off screen because since we're in the desert, that wouldn't be a bad deal. Like I was saying before, you can get some pretty good money off of the Sandman. I mean, even when we're just rolling around over there, fighting them in the cave and stuff, we were making some pretty good cash. I'd like to get everybody all taken care of, so I think I'm going to go do that when it comes up that we can drive around again. That is not the bridge. 
by the way. <laughs> Are we on the lower deck? We're on the lower deck. I was thinking we were on the upper deck, but we're not. But when my buddy comes back from overseas, I do want to take an upper decker in whatever apartment he ends up getting because he's always threatening to do it to me. And I swear to God, one day somebody needs to have it done to him where it's just pure liquid shit coming down his toilet. You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Made sure to go rest real quick. Let's head out. Young master, according to Margie, there's quite a troublemaker in Gebler. Yeah, so who the heck is he? Kavron Ramses of the Holy Solaris Empire's Special Foreign Affairs Agency. <laughs> in other words, he's the commander-in-chief of Gebler. It seems that Gebler isn't just after the excavation sites around Ava, after all. You mean they're not after the Jasper? If that's their only goal, they wouldn't need to send an important man like him. Young Master, this could become unexpectedly complicated. Doc hasn't come back yet, has he? Yeah, we don't know where the hell Saiten's at. How you... I mean, Doc. No need to worry about him. He'll join us soon. Well. We shall have to enter into Nissan through the secret road. Let's keep on the lookout for a lone tree in the desert as a sign of where the road lies buried. Shall we launch the Grizel? I'm gonna keep saying it that way. Just... For the next 80, 100 some parts, whatever, just that's the way we're gonna say it. It's <laughs> the way I've been saying it for 27 years. Do you, do you, do you. Okay, so I'm gonna take a second to just go and grind some, some cash, some cash money, and I'll check back in after we get that taken care of. What the heck is that? What the? This is new. Okay. Hey. What in the world? Who is this guy? I've never seen this guy before. Oh, he's a feisty one. Spear trooper, huh? Ah, wow. Okay, ow. You motherfucker! Oh, you motherfucker! You know what time it is? It's a represent time. We're going to represent. Yeah. Oh, you're dead now, though. Look at that. How much money do we get from him? I don't care about everything else. Give me the money. Give me the money. See, oh, that? Oh, hell yeah. Dude, let's keep trying to fight that guy. So as I'm cruising around out here grinding, I realize this is the exit to that cave that we came out of originally, which I don't know how I didn't realize that before, but I didn't, so... We're looking pretty good again now. I've grinded up about, well, I don't know, a couple grand, which is pretty good. That should be enough to get most of our upgrades we're looking for. So let's go hop back in again. Check this shiz out. Hey, we're back and we got some cash, buddy. Yeah, first of all, let's make sure that we, well, actually I might not have to. Yeah, Dick's already bought the engine, so I already have that. So, yeah, let's replace it with exactly what I have. That sounds like a good deal. Let's come back to the armor last. So we've got... That one we're good on. Frame. Oh, we don't have one for Bart. Oh, I didn't even see that. It's just for Weltall. Okay. Need, no, what the heck? I must have hit it twice. How about Heimdall? No, it's just that. Well, that's kind of good then, because I guess I don't need to go and buy as much stuff as I thought I did. But yeah, we got like four grand now, so that's good because this, this extra armor isn't going to be cheap. Uh, yeah, we should have just enough, actually, to get everybody all set up. Yes, get that equipment, boys. All right, now let's head to Nissan. All set up. Let's kick it. We're saved. We're good for everything here. We're good to go. What we're looking for now is this little tiny tree, like he was saying. There it is, right up ahead. So I don't think that's just like shoreline over that way. Let's keep going this way. When we get over here, it's a good thing this thing isn't suspicious or anything, just by itself. Yeah, we're gonna go underneath the ground, which is cool. Go underneath here through the sand channel, which is pretty sweet. And here we are at Nissan. There we ought to be. 
Where are we at now? What the heck? Are we... Alright. Gotta get those loading screens, man. Oh, hey, Saiten's here. Wait, where did we... Where did we even meet up with them at? What the heck? Alright, okay, whatever. Now I see why you came down to the surface. Alright, I understand you. But Kara and Ramses, taking over the post of Ava is pretty annoying. The home country might have had some special reasons. Yeah, obviously. But perhaps there is still a chance of success. You and I, who used to be called elements at the commander's training school, Yugend, are both here. Does anybody talk like that? I mean, do I, I'm not going to be up with my friends and be like, Kyle, it's so good to see you. Ever since we were friends since high school, it's been such a good time that we played all those games, and then we went to school, and then we were friends after that playing games, and now we're both in town, having food. What would you like to eat? I don't know. I get it, but... <laughs> it seems a little... not awkward or forced, but you get what I'm saying. Hope you are right. By the way, she is still... According to Faye, there was a female aide on Carr's side, and he said that she had indigo blue eyes and hair. So it must be her. So all the old Elements members are on the surface world now. I guess so. Ayuga, to be honest with you, she scares me. She supports Carr and is kind to anyone. I know that very well. But sometimes I felt a strange fear in her that bothers me more than Carr being in this land. That cannot be true. Not in her. Yeah, I don't want to believe it either. But don't you remember how I could always sense these things quite accurately? Right. By the way, have you told the young one yet? No, not yet. I don't want him to worry until we know exactly what Solaris's objectives really are. But I have to tell him eventually, though. Anyway, Hayuga, have you gotten any information? Not really. I left there before going into the center section. Well, well, well. Fang! Oh, it's you, Bart. Don't scare me. Sorry, Dar. <laughs> Sorry, Dari. I'm gonna use that now. Sorry, Dari. It sounds like Sig and Doctor Friend. Sounds like Sig and your Doctor Friend know each other pretty darn well. Sig. Damn, I thought I knew everything about that guy. When did Doc get back? Yeah, and how? We've been under the sand. Well, I guess we were back. We didn't. We had to dive under the sand, right? So before that, I guess he could have just kind of swooped in and landed. I don't know. I didn't look to see if Heimdall was in the gears, like the gear hangar. It might have been, because we were able to work on it. But I don't think it actually was there. Let's see. Well, we won't see now, but I'll complete the remaining checks on board. I'll leave the rest up to you, Mason. As you wish. I'll have the honor of accompanying the others. Yeah. I can't look at the camera. I want to look at the camera. Bartholomew, healthy as ever, I hope. Yeah. How's the town? Since we got word several days ago that there might be an army advancing from the royal capital, the sex, I love sex, representative have been in discussion. What have they come up with? For now, they just plan to improve the local defenses. Also, anti shikan people have been gathering here, probably because they heard about what's going on. That's reassuring. Yes. However, the residents are starting to feel uneasy. People are starting to take refuge up north in the mountains. Can't blame them. By the way, how's Marguerite? Better than we thought, but I know she was in a lot of grief. Marguerite, I'm so glad you're safe. Thanks. All the townspeople are overjoyed by the Great Mother's return. I mean, when that word spreads, isn't Shikan pretty much going to know exactly where she's at? It just seems like that's the case. So we can go to... This is the secret dock. Right, yep. And this is the world map, which I... Can we go here? Oh, we can. It's, I don't know if the red was going to be like, you can't leave. 
You can never leave. You can go hang out with the sex, but you can't leave. So, oh yeah, okay, so the secret dock is over this way. So this is a pretty cool spot, though. I like this. It's just this big place in the middle of the, the water like that. It's on an island. And I think it looks pretty cool. So you have Nissan the town, and then you have the big temple over there. Just in the middle of this big basin like that. I like it. Let's go exploring. Nice peaceful town. Let's take it easy here. Everybody loves us because we've got Marguerite. Wow, it's been such a long time since I left here. Okay, see ya. <laughs> well, first of all, we should accompany Marguerite up to meet the sisters. Huh? What is it, old Mason? Yeah, old Mason. Old Mason. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. To think that little Miss Marguerite was finally able to return here. How? I didn't think she'd been, like, um, I didn't think she'd been kidnapped, except recently. Like, I didn't think she'd been in, in Ava for a while. Or in Bledovic. I guess she must have been there longer than I thought. Maybe she might have been there for a while and then Khan just finally got down there. Or Ramses finally got down there. So awfully moving. H hey, pull yourself together, old man. F forgive me. How terribly embarrassing. I couldn't help it. I, I shall go back and give some instructions to the men left on the ship. Please, young master, go ahead and escort Miss Marguerite up to the seat the oh, 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 sisters. Excuse me now. Aw, oh, he's tearing up. He's not crying. It's raining, as we can all tell. God, they just flip so quick, like... <laughs> so, this is Nissan. You notice that... The, well, I think that's a weather vane, but I think it's also the Nissan Cross. Mr. Pirate, will you let me ride in your ship? Haha, <laughs> maybe when you get a little older, kid. Dreams crushed. Margie has come back. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's, yeah, like I said, have a walk around here. So you're going to make your move, eh, Bartholomew? But somehow, I don't think that man is just going to stand by and let you do as you please, though. That man? He means Shakan. Is that who you mean? Yes, it's all right to try and avenge your father, but I don't think things will be that easy, though. I don't want to hurt anyone. I want you to know I'm always thinking about that. Do your best. We will. Wasn't there some guy that was walking over here just a minute ago? Did he... Was I seeing things? I thought he was on the left. But that's that guy. If it isn't my young lord... I hear you gave them quite a show this time. Shh, keep it down. My true identity is supposed to be a secret. Yet when kids can spot us. <laughs> I don't know. What if a spy from the royal capital snuck in here and heard you? This other person really wants to get our attention. I thought about that. I don't know. What, are you just all holding hands over here when you're strolling around? It has finally begun. My late father always said... Don't miss the greater happiness by being misled by minor suffering. That's some good advice. It hurts me to see our children placed in danger, but if it moves our country in the right direction, then it's in their benefit. Sure. I'm going to go in the shop, so I want to go talk to all the people first. I've had enough troubles. I just want to live life peacefully. Yeah, I get you. Extends all the way around the lake which extends all the way around the cathedral. Just for fun, you might want to go all the way around it yourself. Not that there's much to see at all, mind you. I'm gonna get a reach around all the way around. <laughs> got some, we got a bunch of people down here. It really does kind of hammer home the idea that it's a town that's kind of supporting the church, or the cathedral or whatever, the temple. Cathedral, I think, more so over there. It does the heart good to see the innocent play of children. It sure does. Welcome back. Oh, here's Marguerite. So I want to go on some of... The, oh, he's blocking... Is he intentionally blocking that? No. Some nuns. Neither of us serve heaven within the Nissan Cathedral. 
But we pray here daily as ones who have lived here for many years. Good for you. The town representatives have been in discussion by the assembly hall since this morning. Where is that? If only we knew. Oh, it's right there. Good. I hear they're talking about a plan to deal with the troops from Ava. Some of them think the return of Margie is a nuisance. Well, that's no good. I can understand why everyone is worried, but shouldn't we be continuing our blessings that the Great Mother resides in Nisa? Well, yeah. Studio. Yeah, I want to go record some music. I think it's an art studio, actually. What? Can we look at these things? Oh, there really isn't much going on here. Oh, I can't... Ah, I can't adjust the camera the right way, though. Actually, Nissan is a pretty popular place among artists. Part of the reason is the scenery, but it's mostly because of the portrait of the Great Mother that is said to be in the cathedral. Unfortunately, the public is not permitted to go see it. Well, it's doing a lot of good there then, isn't it? Sorry, but please don't talk to me now. Yesterday morning's view from the lake. I'm remembering the sensation of that light. By walking around, yeah, whatever. You got me convinced. We're gonna... There's a lot of people here. I always thought this overlook was pretty cool. There's like a little walkway up here. Because you can go on there. You can walk over from here. Isn't that cool? If you walk out, it just you just leave the town and all that. I thought you could jump down, but I guess not. So there's a much point to cruising over there, really. And I lied. We're going to come back to all these houses later. I want to go to the cathedral. So Margie, what's shaking? What's going on? These are the people who took care of me when I was small. Cool. I'm glad you're safe. Let's bring her back to go see the sisters. The sisters. Oh, Bart, I'm glad you're well. The people at the hidden port contacted us just before you came into town. I've already contacted the monastery. A monastery, sure, not cathedral. Well, you can have a monastery at a cathedral. Please take Margie up there as soon as possible. She'll be so happy, not to mention the sisters. Yeah, Margie, you heard him. Let's get going. I must hurry and see the sisters. Let's go. So now we just cruise across the moat here, but I think that person was right. I thought you could... Shoot. Well, one of the ways out of Nissan, you actually can walk all the way around. There's that path right there you can kind of see. Maybe that is the way where I was thinking before with that little overlook area. Go check on that later. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do as far as I remember. You just kind of cruise around, but... Yeah, so here's the monastery, and this place is pretty cool. If you like architecture and that sort of thing, which I do. We got Sephiroth over here with the one-winged angel, but there's two of them now. I was never a fan of the one-winged angel thing myself. Hey. They're just flying over at you. Margie. I'm back, everyone. No kidding. We're so glad you're safe. Yes, it is all thanks to Bart and his men. We just received word, so we were singing a hymn of praise and joy. We're so happy. Oh, what a relief. Oh, what a relief. And here's Agnes. Welcome back, Margie. We had faith that you and your cousin Bart would one day return safely. We and your other friends have been waiting for you. Sister Agnes. Unfortunately, your mother and the Blessed Royal Mother. I know, Sister Agnes. I heard about it at the Royal Capital. But at least I have made it back. I'll never go anywhere or leave you from now on. I won't make you all worry anymore ever again. Bless you, my dear. Sister Agnes, this just isn't like you at all. Here I am back, safe and sound. Can't you rebuke me just a little, for old time's sake? Margie, I'm pretty sure, is about 13 or 14. She's not very old. But I'm just so happy that I cannot help but... But whip out this disco ball and part it out. There is no reason to remain so solemnly quiet. Well, everyone... To celebrate the return of our dear sister Margie, and to express our joy to heaven, let us finish singing our hymn. Thank you, and bless you all. 
Oh, yes, sister. May I go upstairs? It's been oh so long. So I want to have a look around up there, too. Oh, but of course, dear. Don't even think of holding back from anything. Except for one thing. Never stay away so long like that again. Oh, I knew you'd say that. Now that's the Agnes I know. Margie, I'm so glad. We got all the nuns just hanging out. They're going to go do their sing-song thing. You can hear them. It's been a while since the last time I was here. Something wrong, Margie? Nothing. It's just... I guess I got a little emotional. <laughs> Anyhow, take it easy for a while. You've put up with enough, okay? If you are trying to make me cry, you'll fail. Oh, yes. I'll show Faye and Saiten around our cathedral. Follow me. Let's see, it is a cathedral. I knew it! I haven't been to a lot of cathedrals. I've been to, like, I think two. But I love the architecture and cathedrals. They're really cool. What a strong girl she is. It is obvious that she really wants to just break down and cry. Yeah, you're right. That's just the way she has always been. For all her talk, she understands her position well. Maybe there are a few things I can learn from her too. So now we can go run around the cathedral. Which is exactly what I think people don't like you to do in the cathedral. Or in a cathedral. So we have this cool stained glass. And we have the nuns. We bug them. He must have been through so much. Do they all say something different? Well, apparently not all of them talk. Nope. So, I don't think that this particular sect is part of... This is part of the sect of Nissan, right? So I think they're different from the ethos. I think they're two different churches. I'm pretty sure... Because the ethos is really... Well, I could be wrong, but I think... I'm pretty sure Nissan is... Let me think about it for a second. Yeah, Nissan is different. Nissan is its own sect. And I don't think they're branches either. Like, Catholics and Protestants are kind of branches of the same thing. Or, you know, offshoots. I think they're completely separate. We go up to the gallery on the second floor from here. Well, then let's go. do 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 do, -do. Getting flashbacks again to FF7 with walking up the, the Midgar Tower, the Shinra Tower. Yeah, that was a long friggin' walk up there. Holy crap. Okay, phase glitching out. That's cool. Well, let's go out. Let's see what's going on up here. We can look down, everybody. I bet this cathedral has some flying buttresses. Like the Buttress of Windsor. Uh, but for real, this is pretty cool. I like this place. How magnificent. If we ever got scolded for pranks as kid, Bart and I used to hide here. Hey, stop telling those old stories. It's embarrassing. But to me, Bart hasn't changed much since then. Changed much since then. What? You mean you still think I'm... You mean he's... Ugh. You mean that you think I'm still a kid? This is cool too, but you can't really see it as well, but the, the main centerpiece of the altar over there. Let's see if I can get a better view of it, sort of. You can kind of get it, but not... You can get the statues. So it's one guy and one girl, if you can tell that there, and they each have one wing. And I have to flip this way back again. But it's a cool looking altar, I like it. Word mark. Okay, there you are. I like the view from here the best. Oh, now we can see it. Yeah. It is a really nice view. It's got a lot of action going on with all the, the light lines, all the sacred lines coming out and everything. The one that I went to, uh, well, there's two of them. There's two big ones in Minnesota here. I'm sure there's more, but there's the one in St. Paul, which is huge. And then there's the one in St. Cloud, which is St. John's. 
uh, university. It's the there's the cathedral there, which is really nice. There's a lot of saints when it comes to this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. This is breathtaking. Light from outside shining through the stained glass of the cathedral's front. What a brilliant piece of artistry this is. Did you notice that the two great angels only have one wing each? We did, because I pointed it out. According to a legend handed down in Nissan, God could have created humans perfectly, but then humans would not have helped each other. So that is what these great single-winged angels symbolizes. In order to fly, they are dependent on one another. See, this is where I'm okay with the one-winged thing. Sephiroth is just... It's like decoration, and I get the symbolism, but I'm not a fan. Where this, it makes sense. It's like, yeah, they can't fly without each other. They need to have each other. And I think that's a great, a great metaphor and symbolism and all that. Especially for a church sort of situation. Uh, so that is the reason for it. I see. On further inspection, the left angel looks somewhat masculine, while the right one looks somewhat feminine. That's right, this church is all about one man and one woman. I don't know. <laughs> but apparently the statues happen to be that way in this case. Now that is an unusual feature, is it not? Usually these depictions are not gender specific. That's a good point. Well, you know, I'm trying to think of actual Christianity and all that. And I think of the seraphim and that. And I think the seraphim might have been genderless. But you have the archangels like Michael... Michael was a guy, or he was masculine. You know, I don't... I, God, I'm not even sure. He was masculine, but there's a lot of angels that have names. And they're depicted as either feminine or masculine. But I don't know that they actually would necessarily have the genitalia, if you were going to be specific. Like in Dogma, where the guy is... Who is it? The guy that plays Snape. He looks like a guy, but he doesn't have anything down below, because the girl tries to punch him there. And he's like, I've got nothing. You're wasting your time. So I don't know if it's that kind of same situation, but I think in the situation of Xenogears here, I think they actually would be anatomically correct guys and girls, but I'm, I'm completely speculating here. But these angels are clearly distinguishable as having opposing genders. My two cents, anyway. And the space between them is the path from where God advents. Or could it be the path leading to God? Well, I do not know. It could be either, or even both. Saiten is a pretty smart guy. Now I see. This all coincides with the teaching of Nisan. So like I was saying, this is separate from the ethos, because they have a whole different thing going on. <laughs> Why, Dr. Saiten Yuzuki, you are an amazing fellow. Amusing fellow. Oh, excuse me. It is a habit of mine. Can relate to that. <laughs> Just go and think about all this stuff. The doc knows a lot about a lot of things. Sometimes I can't even understand what he's talking about. <laughs> Forcing them to fly together. It would be less bothersome if they could fly on their own, don't you think? Bart, you missed the deeper meaning and beauty of it. Someday, I wish I could be of help to someone like that. Oh, we haven't visited the Room of Sophia yet, have we? You're really supposed to go through some procedures before you can see it. But this time, I think it will be alright if I make a special exception. Sophia? Yes, Sophia. She is a reverend... Oh, she is... Never mind. She is revered as a founding mother of the Nissan Nation and the founder of the Nissan religion who set forth its teachings. There's a special room upstairs that has a portrait of Mother Sophia in it. I would definitely like to view that. Faye, let us go have a look at it. Yeah, I definitely am more with sight in here. Like, I would... There's so much stuff, whether your opinion on religion is, you know, with religion or against it or you're in between. The thing that you can still appreciate is that the architecture is tangible and just like any piece of art, it's subjective, regardless of what it was originally made for. So you can still appreciate all of that stuff. And like I said, you know, whether you're a different religion or what, or if you're not religious, 
you can still appreciate all that and kind of get the beauty of the architecture itself. So everybody can appreciate it if they if they really want to. And so even in a game where I don't think the Nissan sect is real, you can still appreciate kind of the means that it has, which is kind of nice. Like Saiten was saying. It's farther on in. This place is just super tall too, but there's the Nissan Cross. Which is cool that it casts light like that. I have to imagine it wouldn't cast it in that same dead center spot every single time of the day. I mean, eventually it's got to move around the room, right? Oh my, what an exquisite portrait. And the beautiful young lady portrayed is quite beyond comparison too. What is more, this looks rather familiar. Well, don't keep us in suspense. What's it look like? What do you think, Faye? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. The hair is a different color, but the atmosphere of personality about or personality about her is exactly the same. What? Hair color? What do you mean? What do I mean? Look, it's the girl I met in the forest. It's Ellie. I mean, there's something about her that's just like Ellie. Say, what, 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 what? No, I'm not going to try and pull that. Because I messed it up already, but that's okay. You don't think so? Yeah, now that you mention it, she does resemble Ellie. But that is not what I was talking about. I meant that the brush techniques and overall style used in this picture are similar to yours. Really? Can we see it? Oh, there it is. So, yes, on both accounts. Yeah, if the hair was a deeper red, that might look quite a bit like Ellie, actually. Does it? First of all, I'm nowhere near as good an artist. No, it is very similar to your style. Past family member, probably. But somehow I can sense an atmosphere of sadness in this picture. She kind of has a solemn... Yeah, solemn expression, I guess. I guess that's what he's saying. is, She is smiling, but in a way gives the impression that she is anxious. Perhaps the picture is reflecting her inner self. Or perhaps it is the inner feelings of the artist being conveyed. Artistic projection, perhaps? Ah. Uh, if you look closely, you will notice that the painting is not completely finished. It's in the bottom right there. We'll notice that. The artist put his brushes down when it was near completion. Why is that? Marge is like, huh? I don't know. But my grandmother might have known about it. Oh. What if we ask Agnes? She might know something. Let's see, can I take another look at this up close here? Yeah. I mean, it's it's tough to tell because I can't get a real good angle without something being in the way. But I like that picture a lot. I think it's pretty cool. It'd be nice to have a smaller version of it, like in real life, have somebody commissioned to go or commission somebody to go and paint it. That's because I like this game so much, but. So, yeah, so Sophia is, like I said, the great mother, which we found out, and this is her painting, so there you go. All right, then, I'll be with Sister Agnes. Well, should we head back to the town for now? Yes, all right. But this painting has caught my curiosity. Do you mind if I speak to Sister Agnes before we head back to town? Yeah, okay. We'll stop by her room on the way out. This room has got to be just sitting directly above the cathedral. Okay, this isn't good. Oh, wait a minute. That is Faye painting it, and that looks a hell of a lot like Ellie. That's not Faye, though. It's a guy named Lacan. Or, uh, I got to think. I pronounce this name in my head, but I always read it, but I'm trying to think how I'd say it. It's like Lock. I think it's similar to Lahan. Or Lahan. Lahan is how I say it, so... Lock on is how I say it. But I don't want to say it like lock on. Be like lock on. I'll say lock on. Yeah, 
Is something wrong, Faye? It looks like you were daydreaming. Huh? No, it's nothing. So the painter looks a lot like Faye, and Sophia looks a lot like Ellie. So I'm thinking... Like I said, maybe past... I mean, it's really far in the past. So past family members, probably? Something like that. It's, that would account for the, the genetics. The genetic similarity. Right? Can I jump down? No, I can't jump down. What I was saying though is it's got that room's got to sit directly above all of the cathedral here, because you just keep walking straight up. Also, this music always reminded me of the '60s song. I'm trying to think. What I think it's by the Beatles. Is that your command? Is that the Beatles? I'll figure it out. I want to see with my own eyes what become of this country. Preparation should be started near the border of the sex country. Gotta love sex. I gotta, I, I'm telling you, I, you gotta love sex. For the charge by the Royal Capitals Army. But a miscalculated move directed on the enemy is certain to backfire on us, so we'll be taking covert action for a while. I'm on my way there now, but I thought I'd offer a prayer before I go. Here's a soldier of Ava. As a matter of fact, the guy next to me and I were born here. Years ago, we both got tired of the peaceful but boring life here, so we ran away from home. But we both ended up enlisting in the army. It's not that we have any particularly happy memories or whatever here. It's just that, after all, this is the land of our birth, so... Well, you know. I think we can go up here now. We walk up to the altar. And I... I thought I would let you look at that a little bit more, but I guess not. So where... For being a nice cathedral like this, there really aren't a lot of other doors. Where the heck is it? Is that... No, that's the way up. And there's no way on the side here. Where the heck is Agnes's room? Is it outside? Maybe. Well, now we're back at the world map again, so... I don't think I missed it. I'm gonna go double check the top floor again, or the second floor, and see what's going on there. Maybe, because I don't see any other doors except that one, but I didn't see any doors when we were walking around either. Like I said, it's just... You cruise up here, and then that's pretty much all that's here, is that room for the painting, the cathedral, and then the staircase. So we'll look. And then on this side, this is just... Like wall and windows. Oh, wait. Oh, here we go. I did miss it. Yeah. Here's where they're all at. Why does war never disappear from this world? Because it never changed that way. To me, it's clear that it is meaningless. Perhaps it is our fate to be forever at discord with each other. I think a lot of the reason we have war in real life is because they say... If you d those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it, which I think is the case. People forget how bad war can be. I mean, I'm assuming I haven't been in war or anything like that, but I think people forget what the actual cost is. And they're like, oh, well, I want this stuff, so let's go and send a bunch of people out instead of me here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not. I don't know. So we renew them. It's one of our daily tasks. That's kind of cool. Can I go up this one too? Look at all the interactivity in this game. I can't actually go up there and do anything. But, like, you can still climb the, the ladder anyway. The road we must take is out there somewhere. A way out of the confusion we are now facing. The sister sitting diagonally across from me is desperately looking for that answer. Does she have a name? It must be somewhere. The truth that we have not yet come to know. Oh? Uh, that scared me. You're very devoted. I don't know why that had quotations, and the rest of these don't. Well, sort of. It's just that after sneaking into the capital, I started to think about it a lot. Oh, this must be the one that uh, was in the hotel, right? And I've come to realize the world isn't right the way it is now. Amen. Oh, so here's Mar- what the heck? So here's Margie. I understand you were shown Sophia's portrait. The lady portrayed in that picture is Nissan's great founding mother. 
good angle. Some say that it was painted at least 500 years ago. 500 years ago. Now that is quite amazing. Personally, I find it intriguing. Do you have any historical material from that period? In our hands, there are no such records left intact. All records and materials concerning Sophia have been lost. The portrait is the only thing left. We too do not have much knowledge about her. That is too bad. So there really is nothing left at all? For someone who has helped Marguerite, I would have loved to share, have shared them. But unfortunately, I am unable to help here. Oh well, none the matter. Please do not worry about it, I was just inquiring. But it does seem somewhat strange. If such a majestic building as this survived history, then it is likely a scroll or two would remain too. According to tradition, Sophia was present about 500 years ago. She sacrificed herself for the people and has been summoned to be with God. That's all I can tell you. I see. So everything was lost in the darkness of history. That's too bad. What? Oh, gosh, it's like got me stuck there. I wonder what kind of person Sophia was. I would have loved to have met her. Well, that's pretty much it. That's all we got that we're going to get for history of this place. Which is too bad because, yeah, I'd love to see or hear more history about this too. I mean, it's a pretty significant place. And especially as a church, I'm sure that there's a bunch of stuff that was going on with it. There's got to be some more information somewhere. Maybe. Let's head back into town, see what's going on there. And take the next step, I guess. Because we don't really know what the next step is. The next step is just kind of that there's some stuff going on with Ava. And I guess that's kind of it. Can I go? Can I? Can I? Yeah. I'm going to go back into town, damn it. I'm going to go run in that one spot real quick. I want to see if I can run off to the side, which I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, never mind. Ah! Oh, oh, hey. Young master! Master! Uh, master! Uh, master! Whoop! Snooze you lose, Grandpa! Wait, no, you're my way. <laughs> can we go off to the side? Yeah, see? Check it out. You can go run laps. <laughs> Why? I don't know. There's there's nothing over here. It's cool. You can get different views of the, the cathedral and all that, but... I guess, yeah, that place is built into the stone, isn't it? So, it's not like it was some big cathedral where it was... They just built it. There's all the stuff, you know, like... To make the outside look weird. With the rooms and all that. It's just, if you want some, you, if you want some more room, you just go Dwarf Fortress and dig into the side. So that makes a lot of sense. Where the heck did Mason go? Where is that old man? Old Mason. Where is old Mason? We looked all around. Or all around. The people of Nissan are most generous. Most generous to allow us to rent this house. So there will be no need to seek lodgings at the inn for a while. Well, that's nice. Save us a little bit of cash. Also, Master Sigurd wishes a word with you regarding your next move, if he may. Alright, so where is Sig? The good Master Sigurd is waiting for you inside. Okay, thanks, Mason. But before we do that, let's go find whatever the shops are, because I want to buy stuff. I need a little retail therapy, you know? What's this guy doing? Pirates in the Royal Capital, true. Nope. Ignore this guy with the eye patch too. We are providing you with a vacant house. Huh? That? I'm so glad you like it. Please take it. What did I get? Oh, hell yeah. Special herb tea. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's special. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. It's a special arrangement with the town representatives. We're getting lodging. So, they must have been... I don't know if they're deserters or something, or defectors, maybe. I'm not sure. But they've obviously got the Ava garb on, so it's got to be something going on there. That's the way out of town. Let's see, we had the studio down on the bottom right there, so it ain't that. This has a little thing outside, so I bet this might be a shop. 
Let's see what we got going on. We got a save point. We got a cut scene. Oh, hey. Hello, Grandma. Hey, aren't you the young master? Hey, you. Huh? D Duh. Huh. It's Bartholomew. Are you doing well? Good enough. <laughs> don't try to overdo it. Hey, are those your friends back there? I don't know these people. They just followed me. They're doing a documentary. Yeah, Faye and Sighton. Friends of the young master are friends of ours. Take your time and look around. Thanks. I will. I thought that was Luigi down there for a minute. It's not. This place has gotten to be a pain. My family is fleeing north to the mountains. I'm here to buy supplies. Hot damn. We're also here to buy supplies. The old man from the gun room sent me here for supplies. If you want, I can also get gear parts you may need. Just tell me. Whoa. A good prep. Whoa. How's he doing? He's like, whoa. Good preparations. If that's the case, please get the parts we need. So we just bought parts. Are they really going to... Are they really going to throw more at us? No. These are the same ones. I think. I mean, I want to make sure here, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these are all the same. No. No, Heimdall's got a better one. Also, that's for Welltall anyway, so... Let's do the complete check. See what we get. Uh, yeah, still Welltall. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got everything, which is great. It's fantastic. I love it. But we've got a little bit of leftover cat. Okay, they're forging into the same or merging into the same person again. I'm looking for accessories. What have you got? I want a sweet like hair bow or something. Whoa, what do we got here? Well, that ain't cheap. Look at that. Oh, I thought that was experience. I saw EXP, but I guess a little dyslexic there. So we could try and grind out for these, but you know, 50 grand, no, 58 grand is a hell of a lot of money. That is a hell of a lot of C4. So I don't think I'm going to go do that. Not anytime soon, anyway. I think we'll be pretty okay later on. Further down the road, it's not like we need this right now. We're still in the very early parts of the game, so we should be able to manage. But with that, we're going to save and we're going to head out. It's going to be just a couple minutes short, but I want to make sure that we don't get in front of... Or we don't get into anything huge and it ends up running too long. So I'm going to get out in front of it, give the old save. And I think I will catch you guys in the next one. So see ya.